playing somebody like BB, you know, as iconic as he is, has been, it's been exciting and it's been really rewarding, but there's so many, I've learned so much about how not to, to try to do the whole mimicry thing, you know? It's really easy to fall into the trap of, uh, of just like, well, I'm just gonna learn his facial expressions and I'm gonna learn how to talk like him. And I'm gonna just do everything just like him. And it's like, you know, within the time I had, I can't do that, one, two, in Baz's world. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily need to be like that. And it's not that interesting. And it's more so, I think what was so important and what I love about Baz so much is that the storytelling is, is first. The storytelling is so important. And, and, and you can find ways to to get the spirit and the soulfulness and the, and the love and the passion and the charm and the charisma and the control and the clarity without completely just, you know, doing a, I'm baby king, you know what I mean? <laughs>He has a lot of guitar um, tutorials that he did, which was really interesting because he really breaks down why. Because how he talks and how he thinks is how he plays. And that was really interesting. So it's like listening to the music, especially the early albums. And a lot of the live shows were really good too as well because you get a sense of, um, I felt like how I would imagine him to be with his boys. You know what I mean? How I imagine him to be like, you know, when we're doing that scene on the, on the outside on the fire escape, there, it's, it's, that, it's the private moments. Working with Austin has been such a treat. I, I met him briefly before um, we, 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 we started this movie and because we have the same agent. And um, I remember hearing the process of him auditioning for it and he was getting close and then him getting the movie and his prep in the beginning and how intense it was. And I was so in awe of his work ethic. I was so in awe of his commitment to it. And I was just excited to see what this would be like. And I never thought, I never thought I would get to like come and actually witness it. And just when I finally got here, how generous he is, how kind he is, how patient he is, and how passionate he is about just really honoring, you know, a legacy that is far bigger than Elvis in a lot of ways, you know? He's funny, he knows what he wants, he knows how to, to encourage and empower artists. You know, everyone feels so alive and feels so excited to come to work. And even, you know, the, the background artists, you know, feel like they have a, a character. So then when you walk into the hallways, they're having conversations that feel like we're in 57. And they're, they're, the, 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 the flirtation, the energy, the excitement for the music. You, he creates a world and you walk into the world and you exist. It's simple, you exist. You don't overthink it, you don't judge yourself for it, you get, you, you get out of your own head, you let your ego go, and as we would say in Club Handy, we let it all hang out.